Welcome to the Panic Button. I'm Nina. I'm Jesse. And today we're reacting to what? TikToks mostly. TikToks mostly. Relationship TikToks. I ended a relationship and cut off an engagement from a great a great man. But 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 why? He was a good man. He loved God. That is good. He loved and adored me. He was there for me. Sibion. He was handsome. He was well educated. He Benjamin. Yes, he checked all the boxes. But there but there was still something missing. I just knew that I could not go through with this marriage. There was just something that did not connect. I felt that there was should have been a connection between he and I in order for me to be his wife. Jesus Christ, lady, he is not Wi-Fi. You are not iPhone. Why are you looking for invincible connection when he already has all the good qualities that you want? And so I cut off the engagement. Ah, you fumbled the bag, lady. He's a good man, Savannah. Is it because he did not possess the demonic energy that you ladies seem to be attracted to these days? I don't understand this. I give up. I give up. What is this magical, mystical uh, connection that they speak of. Honestly, I don't think she could see it past those bangs. I think it's the obsession thing. How do I how do I verbalize this correctly? It's the 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 overly obsessed. The connection they're looking for is this in love thing, which I always say is fictitious. Yeah, it's a just obsession that is masked with this fl fluffy, lovely uh, title of in love. It's not, uh, it's, not, it's not healthy. But women want it. What's unhealthy about it? Being obsessed? The true love fantasy, the, the connection that they're looking for. Because it's obsession and obsession is never good. How is it obsession though? How is being a love, uh, because- That's the part you didn't give us. You always see it in the movies where they're like, I can't sleep without him. I can't eat without him. I always want to be around him. And I'm paralyzed if he's not in the room. <laughs> yeah. And that's not healthy, you know, but women make it out to seem or they believe that that's what they should try to obtain when being in a, in a relationship. So you're saying that she was looking for that and didn't have that hypothetical fantasy. And so that's why she lost this man? Yeah. I think he had a small pee-pee. He pee -pee. might have. Why else? Okay. Although you think she would have given some sort of hint in that video. He's attractive. He's a nice man. There just wasn't a connection. There wasn't a he spark. He was well-educated. He gave her a nice ring. He was reliable. But there wasn't a connection. There wasn't a spark. It's hard to connect when you don't really have anything to connect. Can she explain what the connection is? I mean, they always say, we didn't have the spark, we didn't have the connection, we just didn't, you know, bond together, or whatever the fuck they say. I think the sex was bad, regardless. <laughs> <coughs> I'll tell them, say, okay, the connection that most people are talking about is, like, that butterflies, or the fact that, like, you continue to want, she, she must not have wanted to fuck him anymore. I was saying that they can never describe exactly what this is. They just say that it's a feeling and they didn't feel it. But that's not very clear. The feeling. How are men supposed to know what what that is and, and how, to, how to make that happen with the girl when she can't even explain it? The connection is she's not enjoying the sex. She doesn't want to continue having it. And so she's opting out. Well, two things if, can be... Yeah, true Accurate. at the same time. Yeah, true at the same time. I like guys that don't like me. But why? Do you not like yourself? Me. And when they start liking me, mm -hmm. I don't like them. And Jesus Christ. This one does not want peace. She wants problem always. She wants to date enemies of her progress. But unless I really, really, really like them, then I'll still like them. But What the father is she talking about? The more she talks, the less I understand what she is saying. And that is not what the English language is created for. I like when guys like act like they don't like me and don't act interested in, you know what I'm saying? Lady, I know what you are saying, but my brain is not computing it. So you want to date guys that do not like you. But 
as soon as they start liking you, you will break up with them. But as the guy, why would I want to date somebody I don't like for them to break up with me? Am I a vagabond? It's almost like she's looking for someone who's a sadist but also a masochist. I right? don't understand how you can start dating someone if you don't like them. They'd have to like you at least a little bit to say yes, right? And then when they said yes, you'd be like, never mind. Like, I don't understand. What is the, the logistics? The logistics don't add up. You know what, what I mean? What is the reasoning behind it? Why would you say yes to dating someone if you didn't kind of like them? Are you hate-fucking everyone? She doesn't like guys that like her. So how do they, are they even dating at that point? That's what my point is. How do you start dating if you don't like the person? It there's doesn't no, make any sense. There's no beginning. There wouldn't be a beginning. There's no <laughs> dating. There's, where did you get that phrasing from? So you start dating when you don't like each other, and then when you do is when you break up. I Why? don't understand who, who starts dating someone they don't like. No, no, that's the thing. You'd have to like them to start dating them. Okay, so... You'd have to her... like something about them. Their body, their face, the way they do something. Like, you have to like their voice. I mean, anything. Wait, you may, have to like something. Maybe, let's see. You I gotta like get to the bottom of this. Like, you like something. I, I gotta get to the bottom of this. Maybe she's saying that when she likes a guy, they start dating if, she, if they treat her good then she doesn't like it. She would rather them be, like, mean to her and, and ignore her. Maybe that's what she means. But then she said, when he likes her back, if that's what she likes, then why wouldn't he keep doing it? I don't know. I'm How not the, the interpreter dating? for How does the insane dating start? people. How does the dating start if he's treating you like shit like that? I'm not the interpreter for insane people. <laughs> he's funny, though. Answer. His name's Maxim, Maxim Batty. Official. He's funny Is as that fuck. all of them? No, there's one more. I was actually once driving my date home. And? And she said to me, I don't need a man. Why did she say that? Any context? I said, are you sure? <laughs> she said, yeah. I said, so get the fuck out the car. <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. I don't believe it, but go on. <laughs> and hitchhike. <laughs> Turned out, she got kidnapped. Is this story reaching for the heavens because it keeps escalating? And that's a great example of why women need men. No, it is not. Jesus Christ on the motorbike. What a terrible story. Even though in the history of things that did not happen, this is the thing that never happened the most. Bro thought his story ate. Your story is hungry. Even if this is true, there is plenty of legitimate things a lady could need a man for. This is not one of them. The kidnapper is probably a man. The person that put her out the car. Man, and you are telling her she need man because... <laughs> yeah, that was pretty stupid, that, that fellow speaking. That, like, what? Oh, first of all, that was a bullshit story. And you know, Pearl's over there like, that's exactly yeah. why they need yeah. him. <laughs> that's right, that happened. Yeah, what was the context there? Were you arguing? Right. Was it just that you guys were sitting in the car, just listening to some tunes, Spice Girls, Spice Up Your Life? I don't need a man. <laughs> okay, bitch, get out. Here's the door. I just don't see that happening. Unless they're both really quick to anger. <laughs> I feel like it started probably with him, like, oh, that's why you need a man. And then she goes... I don't need a man. And he goes, oh, really? You don't need a man? Get the fuck out of my car. <laughs> if anything like that did happen. But where this doesn't... You, and where were you kicking her out, exactly? Like, a, it, in, Why would you just a, kick a woman out of your car like that? On the inner, in, on the highway? Was she in a city? Were you in, on a rural, in a rural area? I had one of my exes in my car that I wanted to punch in the face. And I looked at this woman and I said, I would kick you out of the car if I didn't think you'd get run over right now. Get her an Uber. Get her fucking something. You don't just leave a woman on the side of the yeah, fucking can you road. Imagine the cops coming to you, sir. So, when was the last time you saw the victim? Well, um, I think it was right before I kicked her out of my car. Yeah, You're gonna be the first suspect. The cops didn't come to talk to you about this, this. You know, story. <laughs> Your kidnapped date? Your like, kid I mean, you're the first person the cops are going to go to, so that doesn't make any sense now, does it? 
right? Exactly. But he, he literally said this in front of like eight women. <laughs> she got kidnapped. <laughs> and that's Maybe why you need... Maybe he did something to her. Let's, let's I mean... as lesbians who were liberal for most of their lives, identify some situations where a woman could legitimately need a man. Ready? My fucking car. All the time. And I could need a man. You? <laughs> Making a baby? <laughs> she got points. Plumbing? Usually a man. It just doesn't look good on you as a man, too. Jars. Open my jars. Like, what happened on you? The last date you were on, dude. What happened? Well, I kicked the date out of my car and she got kidnapped. So you want my number? Ladies, <laughs> don't go on a date with that guy. Because you might, you might go missing one day. And the cops apparently aren't going to go and talk to him about it. No, this is just the story he gave the cops. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's looking like a fool without knowing he looks like a fool. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Tell me about your relationships and uh, what you thought of these girls. Also, he's funny. Go check out his TikTok. Uh, Maxim Bad D with a Y. Not the dude at the end who kidnapped. No, 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 no. That's a girl. And the guy making a oh uh, Jesus Christ on a motorbike. He's he's funny as fuck. <laughs> Why would you kick out your date? Huh? Why would you kick your date out of your car? You can't, what, I mean, first date, second date? Because he wanted to go fuck his boy? Because, like, why else would you kick, this, kick out your car? You know? That's just suspicious. 